We are headed out the door today. Guys, where are we going? Rockingless Castle. Okay. Not so loud in the courtyard. Okay, tell us though. What do you know about Dracula? Um, his name is. His, is he really a is he really a vampire? No, he's Vlad's father. Wait, is he Vlad or Vlad's father? It's Vlad. I don't know if this one was. I think this one was Vlad the Third, which was was the one we were learning about. So, what did he do? Oh, Vlad the Impaler, which I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a little scarier than the Dracula, don't you? And also, he used biological warfare, mm -hmm. and he had the plague in his dungeons, and he had prisoners, mm -hmm. and he would he send the prisoners, prisoners who had, had the bubonic Ottoman plague, who had the bubonic plague, and he would send them out back to, to the, attack, their own back army, back to their own army to call for help, and then they would like to be oh, trying to grab them because they need their help. But if plague, the plague is. Very contagious, so when they touched them, it, it could have hit them. Wipe out a whole army, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're excited to go and see Bran's castle. There's also, um, from what we've read, the museum at the castle has a bunch of um, other historical things that have been saved in the museum, so let's go check it out. We just got out of our Uber. Um, had actually a great drive. The Uber drivers here have been super kind. Uh, this one actually has been to the U.S., spoke English really well, so we had a good time having conversations. He taught us a little more about the area, um, which is something that I always love about not having our own cars, meeting other people. But here they dropped parking area. Say cheese. <laughs> and right behind here, look at that. This is Brand's Castle. So that is the... <laughs> that is the castle that Bram Stoker used as inspiration and we're going to go Bram learn Bram Stoker? That's the one who wrote the Dracula His name is Bram, B-R-A-M That's what I said But why, it's Bram No, that, no, no They're not related? No oh. Alright, let's go um, Anyway, beautiful spot, super excited There is a little bit of a walk to get to it So, um Oh, there is? It looks like you go through uh, like a, yeah, like a market. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Similar to other places we've been. The same thing as you're trying to get to the blowhole in, in Sonata and you walk through the market, things like that. We actually usually love those type of markets, so we're kind of excited to check it out. So this is the street that you come down to get to the castle. You can see the, the market space set up. We're in the off season, so a lot of the restaurants aren't open right now, but something to keep in mind if you head here that you could definitely have some souvenirs and some snacks on the way up so you don't have to tour the castle hungry. Anytime we travel we like to look for things that are unique to that area because it's getting harder and harder to find as tourist stuff I like to find the same sweatshirt with a different city on it everywhere you go. Um, here's something we um, the traditional Romanian clothes we've seen everywhere. I actually love them. They're like hand embroidered phenomenal but these masks we're gonna have to look up the story behind it because they're all over but it's kind of awesome. I know we love all the little touches. Your tickets. The kids got some corn. We paid extra to do the torture rooms. There, there's a room that has the instruments or devices. So we paid an extra 10 lei per person for that. Um, so all in, we're 205 lei for the family. Right now, the exchange rate is about 4.6 lei per U.S. dollar. So um, you can see in the peak season where you'd have more shops and things open. The grounds for the castle, there's an old lake, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to wander up slowly. The ground is definitely not even as you could expect. It's pretty old, so if you're planning on coming, pushing a stroll or anything like that, it is a bumpy little ride, but not bad for walking up. Uh, hang on. You can see there's a lot of things preserved down here. Old walls. It's like some of the fortress on the other side before you hit the town. Beautiful area. I'm a little sad we're here in winter because I think in the spring or summer this would be stunning.
it is fun to see how they've leaned into the Dracula things in their signage, but then talk to some of the locals. They're very adamant about how Vlad Dracula was so much more in real life than just the Dracula that we know from the novel with the vampires stuff. We did learn that Romanian folklore has believed in a Strugoi, which is like a version of a vampire for a long time, and that that was probably a lot of where the crossover comes with the two of them. In addition to the Strugoi, they believed in werewolves and witches and mythological creatures that ruled the weather. So uh, we spent some time last night learning about all the folklore, which I love when we get to a new area to see a little bit of the background before we go to a place like this. Blood. And now blood. Just getting its roses leaking out from the window. <laughs> Wait. Yeah? Dad gets more royal So you're coming through the guards tower and you see the classic open courtyard for the castle style. They have it really decorated with flowers right now, which is kind of cool. Let's head up, guys. So we're in one of the rooms. The boys love looking at all of the displays. They do have, it's cool here, they have like um, fires lit that are just lights. There's a secret staircase. Roxy's not so sure of it. The art here on the wall is from the 1500s. I think this might be the staircase we read about that they didn't know it was here until they were remodeling and found it behind the old fireplace. Oh, it's a long one. Let's so climb all the way up. Coming out of the secret tunnel. Oh, it's all decorated. This is cool. Oh, I am such a nerd for all this glass. Show you the view out though. It's a pretty great view. Okay. So, I was going to enter the castle. You noticed there were not the flowers on the outside, also on the inside. Why is that? For decorations. So it's know. part of an ongoing art exhibit. They have different things displayed at different times. This one kind of adds to the fun of the music room here. I love it. And then you have some music playing, which I think is fantastic. Oh, that piano. We are leaving the music room. Leaving the music room? This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, the that, courtyard. That would have the been, well? been when they put pigs in it. So no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so the kids learned about how during the um, Ottoman and Hungarian wars in Wallachia, they would, um, Impaler and his troops would go through and burn down villages before the Ottoman troops got there so that when they did, there wasn't any food and they would poison the water. So a lot of the Ottoman troops were Islamic, so they'd slaughter pigs and throw them down the well because once it was unclean with a pig there, they wouldn't drink the water. So they were, their warfare was tactics unlike we've heard in other empires and they played really dirty. So now whenever the kids see a well here, they talk about carcasses being in them. Picture. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't build a house and model it after this. Family, game room, music room, beautiful windows. I'm actually crazy about these windows. And then this cool little veranda before the courtyard. You guys liking the castle so far? Yes. Mr. Cool Guy in his selfie face. The glazed pottery. It's not as old as the rest of the castle, but I still love seeing all the bright blues. Got out to the terrace. Hospital. It's warming up for the day, which is nice. 
So this castle was in a constant state of, of upkeep with its most recent design elements in the 1920s when the city gifted it to... Oh, that's messed up. For the tar shoots, just, you know, dump some hot tar on you. <laughs> From the terrace, we read a little bit about the history of the dreads, as it's put, and the things that roamed the castle floor. Go in and shut the curtain. Go in and shut the curtain. Ghost says. They are ghosts with very tempting silhouettes dressed in white with veils. They are great lovers of songs and dances. The grass is greener and mushrooms and flowers grow where they dance. We were up at that church too. They probably all was rooted. Yeah. So we learned about ghosts haunting. We learned about all the things that you would need to keep an eye out. See if your love runs are strugoi. I'll tell you about the ghost. Come here. It is well documented through the castle, all the things. This guy doesn't like scary stuff, so he's just hanging out. Every room has plaques that you can read, so you definitely don't have like a tour or anything on that. You just follow the arrows through the house. Behind me, you can hear all kinds of screaming. There is a school field trip here going through like the ghosts in the Strigoi area, and it is clearly scaring them. The castle is quite different from what you picture when you say castle. Definitely different the castle that we went through in Gruyere, Switzerland, um, or the ones we went to in France. But I love seeing how different time periods had different ones. A lot of cool original stuff remains. We paid the extra to come into the torture part of the museum. Um, it's interesting because they have everything from public humiliation, which is basically what the mask of infamy is here, to um, some gruesome things, including the good old rack. Which always just reminds me of the Princess Bride. <laughs> so maybe a less Bright and happy history for us to learn as a family today, but I'm loving it. As fascinating as all of the torture devices are, it's actually just a sad commentary on all the different ways that humans find to hurt each other, and that is less fun to learn. We've made our way down into the courtyard. You can see that um, some of the like original stone poking through, which I always love. Red She's a bit of a nerd for through. stone and doors. Yes, and there are some very intricately painted doors here, love, or someone made out of metal. This is part of uh, the chapel. And then of course the well, which the kids are loving looking in. It's not very deep right now, it just ends here. It's sectioned off, but um, love. Cool way to view it from here. It's not scary. We dude. decided to take the elevator back down to the park. It goes through all these levels. Oh, we're here. Uh, it's red. Ooh. Okay. Don't get stuck in it, rocks. So if you take the elevator down, it goes down 100 meters to the park level, so you don't have to walk back down. The tickets to come down are 20 lei and then it leads you to this tunnel that was newly remodeled with this special lift. Hey, this is, that looks like baby. And then at the end there's one that will cool. take a picture of you you can buy in the gift shop. Cool tunnel though. So wrapping up, we just came out here from the Oculus exit through the gift shop always. But it is actually a cool 
view of the castle from this side. And the kids are excited not to have to walk the pathway back down. So kind of fun. Not bad for five bucks a person. And they have a fun tunnel for them. So now we're out to the park. It was a fun, that was a fun way to spend an afternoon. It's really fun. They really lean into the whole like uh, mythology of it mm -hmm. and they make it fun. Like they've, yep. they've embraced the old werewolves and Dracula and all that. And it's, it was, it's, it's cool. It was fun that we learned about that stuff last night, just learning about Romania in general. And then to see the actual displays of Dracula and the Strigoi and, um, it's always fascinating to us how much dragons show up in they different in cultures everywhere. and folklore. The kids are convinced that dragons are, are real. Because they're in every single culture, every single, yeah, every, every place, them. everywhere. Definitely Throughout time. Real. Just, yeah, there are griffins everywhere <laughs> here. So I don't know what the history of the griffins are, but maybe they come to snatch up your kids who twerk during videos. Uh, maybe I'm just... Fun. Okay. We brought an Uber here. You can definitely take a bus as well. The buses drop you another block or so away. Um, Ubers, when we got in the car, our Uber driver was super kind and he said, hey, let me just, um, like, you might not find someone to pick you back up so I can leave the trip running and then we can finish it then on Uber. So he gave us a couple options, which was super nice. There are a bunch of taxis lined up ready to take you back to wherever you're going. If you're coming out of Bucharest, which you could do a day trip here from Bucharest, you can plan those just by bus or you could take a train and then take a bus or take a train and then take an Uber. So there's a lot of options for getting here, a lot, a lot. but it's been a great time.